What's up guys? We're here for our weekly skin review and we're here with the Train to Kill sword. And uh, this sword is actually pretty nice looking. It kind of has that wooden made look to it. All kind of riveted together. Pretty nice. Uh, hopefully here in the future melee weapons will be more usable and we'll see a lot of these awesome skins around. Next up, we've got the Armored Vault Door, and it's a really nice looking little armored door. Uh, I like the little hatch arrow and everything, and it's got a nice like pleated look to the metal. And uh, altogether, it's a pretty nice door. And doors usually get pretty expensive, so uh, I'd say it's worth picking it up while it's fresh on the marketplace. Next up, we got this nifty little hatchet. I love the way this looks. The Sunrise Hatchet is just really, really cool. It's one of those things that's got that kind of like tribal look to it. And uh, I love this. This is definitely one I'm picking up this week for sure. This week we have a new box brought to us. And uh, instead of kind of fitting the whole rusty theme, this kind of fits with the whole like steampunk and everything else. Of course, that is coming from Stab because all the other steampunk stuff does. And we've got the Metropolitan Trunk. So it's actually a unique looking chest. It doesn't have... Uh, matching sides so it's unique in that aspect and it's actually pretty cool looking next up from fred the dog we've got a, another youtuber skin so the youtuber surge if you haven't checked him out uh, i believe his channel is somewhere around uh, approaching quickly on 50k uh go ahead and check out surge and uh surge now has very own rocket launcher skin in the game and it's actually a really cool looking launcher uh, i like it quite a bit so it's always cool to see another youtuber skin make it into the game uh, of course, this is probably going to be pretty sought after afterwards, so make sure you go ahead and grab this before it's off the workshop. Next up, we've got another yellow AK, and uh, it looks alright, but again, I feel like it kind of looks a little... Uh, I don't know. They're starting to kind of mesh together, and I think it'd be a lot better to start seeing some more unique AKs in the game. Uh, like, you'll see when we get to the new P2 skin, I'm really happy with it because it's something very unique. And it, it kind of just looks like something someone would do up in a crazy apocalyptic world. Uh, this definitely fits the theme of Rust and it looks really good. But again, uh, you know, I'm looking for a little more personality, I think. And exactly what I was talking about here is the Biting Dog Sap. And this thing is really cool looking. I love the look of it. And it, it's just, you know, it's unique. It's something different that you can get in here. And I love the little face on it and the color and the fact that it looks painted on rudimentally, it doesn't really look rudimentary. There we go. I, I can't I can't speak properly. And uh, yeah, it just kind of looks like something someone tossed together and painted up and they're ready to go out and uh, start killing people with their trusty uh, best friend pistol. Also this week, we've got more Sunrise. We've got two helmets in addition to the awesome pick and these things are just really cool looking. If you're going for a certain tribal look, these are the ones for you. Doctor here has done an amazing job at it, and I'm glad that these skins got accepted because they look cool. Now I just want to see some chest pieces to go along with them, so hopefully those roll out soon. That would be awesome. And so, of course, like I said, there's the other mask. So once you get past the coffee can helmet stage, you can still keep your awesome sunrise trend going on with that awesome tribal look with this really awesome sunrise mask and i said awesome a lot but it actually really is i i really love the way these things look and this week was the new road sign design we did get some new road sign armor and it's from stabby it's a set and it's the nordic beast set and it just looks amazing i wish i could show you it with both pieces on right now but there's the kilt and we're just gonna straight up just jump right into the vest here without even pausing and there we go and this vest just looks so good with the redesign uh, you, you got the separate shoulder piece here the pounders and it's just it the back is it looks great i love it this is just really well done definitely ones i picked up this week next up we've got a leather boonie hat and uh it's i mean pretty much what you expect it's a boonie hat and it's brown and it looks like leather so that's uh, pretty much it if you want to kind of look like you're maybe going out fishing and then also maybe hiking uh this this could be for you i guess next up from mr fredo we've got the leather handbag red leather handbag satchel charge so pretty much uh 
you know, you're digging through the trash and you're like, I need to put these bean cans into a satchel charge somehow. Oh, look, here's some lady's old purse we're going to sew together with some leather straps. And, you know, that, that's, that's exactly what happened. And th that brings us here. Lastly, from La Crembe, we've got some new army black boots. So if you don't like the army green, well, we've got some steel toe dark boots here. And as you can see, they've got a uh, nice little detail. They actually look really nice like leather. They've got some inserts to keep your feet war warm. And uh, they've seen a little bit of wear and tear. As you can see, the steel from the steel toe is actually poking out there. So, but hey, that hasn't stopped, uh, let's say, you know, that chicken from pecking at these feet. No, that steel toe protect you. Well, okay, guys, so these are our skins for the week. I hope you enjoyed checking them out, and I hope this helped you choose which ones you wanted to pick up. Don't forget to go and check out the authors and see what other great work they have done and show them support, because the only way skins you guys want can be put into the game is if people know who they are and uh, it's brought to attention. If you just kind of ignore people and sit there on the sidelines, well, how will anyone know uh, whether or not to even pay attention to it? So definitely go and do that as always guys leave a like to show your support for me and i hope this helped you pick out your skins for the week and we'll see you next time